Welcome to my last Road to the Arnold video. So thank you to those of you who have watched all of them. And I am pleasantly surprised by how this has turned out so far. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with this prep other than just document my training from week to week and kind of have something to look back at for future preps and see how things change as I get progressively more tired. This is footage from my last two weeks of training. I haven't had any crazy PRs with bench. I've had some rep PRs, but singles are still a little bit hit or miss. I have gotten more consistent with my setup and have found a way to be able to not get dizzy, hopefully. I am aware that the deadlift video where I hit a PR single has been the only thing that I've posted on Instagram all prep. I just haven't really had any juice left to really think about posting on Instagram and I just prefer to post on YouTube even though it gets a lot less views. It just gives me a place to really think out how training is going and digest it rather than just post something quick on the gram. The heavy deadlift day has been the most daunting. Um, it has also been the one that I feel like has been a little bit more predictable compared to bench at least as far as how singles progress but I will be taking some time after this meat prep is over to really try to work on optimizing bracing for deadlifts because I do think that there's a lot of room for improvement. I think I am now more convincingly pulling sumo as it seems like I've been pulling sumo for a while because I've been watching all of these sumo deadlift videos but I was just conventional not too long ago and I've been competing for I think this is my eighth year and I'd say more than 50% of those years have still been conventional so I think I'm now convinced at least I've convinced myself that I pull sumo so the form as far as the sumo form is there but I do think I need to work on bracing I'm still not really happy with how that's been going this prep. I've been feeling a little bit more confident with squats because as of the last prep I managed to figure out how to walk out in a way that didn't have me shaking like a leaf so that has helped a lot because the hardest part is no longer just the walk out I've also made a lot of progress with doing reps or many sets of PR reps. So 125 kilos for six feels way lighter after going down from the top single. So while warming up, I usually do like 110, 120, 130, and those kind of feel progressively heavier especially as I train late at night it's usually around 9 p.m. I'm already kind of tired completely uncaffeinated gym's a little bit cold so as I'm warming up that 120 kilo 125 kilo feels a lot heavier and then as I do my top single which is in the 150s and go down to 125 or later on in this video 127 those reps actually feel really comfy so I really have enjoyed squatting or my heavy Wednesday squat days because of that because it feels like I really just have a heavy single and then I'm still fresh I still don't feel like my spine or my back is tired hit that single and then the back downs just feel pretty nice. With deadlifts we've been working on making 170 kilos feel comfy so I've been just doing that as a practice single. I think I've been hitting that 
at least twice, uh, like twice a week. I've been hitting like 170 for one. And then that was a video from my weekend sauna getaway when I managed to hobo my way into some place with a sauna and um, relax for a little bit. The last two squat Sundays have been kind of rough for me. The videos look okay, but my head feels like it's exploding because I've had migraines and I had them on, I had a migraine, I call it them because it was four days long on the right side of my head. Um, that I believe was related to my period because that's the thing that happens to me and this month has been particularly stressful. I say stress in terms of like physical stress, not just emotional, just with, I think, the peaking and the dieting. I think my period was just like one more thing to just make my body say, nope, not this week. And then a few days later, I think I strained my neck in my sleep because I tend to sleep face down, neck twisted to breathe on my pillow. So the left side of my head a few days after my right side migraine went away my left side started to hurt but it was more of a headache and that has since gone a little bit better but it's been making practicing the brace and the walkout and the squat really hard this is some training footage from my last heavy bench session which was exactly a week ago today is monday of the week of the arnold and i am resting so I'm using my, what would have been my training time to make this video. I hit 92.5 for five and that felt okay. And then I rested a whole 10 minutes and actually it was more like nine minutes, but I thought that would be enough time and it probably was. I don't think resting any longer would have really helped. Uh, but with these, it gets kind of tricky because like the last rep or what would be the last rep for me and each set is really, really hard. And the first ones are like kind of okay. And then I just kind of lose gas halfway. This is a case of I just ran out of energy or juice. So I think going forward, I want to try doing smaller jumps. Because I think doing like 90 kilos for five the week before, then going to 92.5 just because those are the competition jumps might not make sense if I'm kind of at my limit with uh, like 90 for five is kind of like that's probably the last thing I can solidly do for three sets because I was aiming to do three sets so maybe in the future I could try doing like 91 like 91 92 because I do have half kilo plates or at least have access to those so that might be the way to go in another case of I haven't taken selfies in many, many years because I don't have a full-length mirror anywhere, not at the gym, not at home, you can see that lighting makes a huge difference and when there are just uh, pieces of equipment laying around and you're posing, you might just fall over and that's, that's what you get. This is my last heavy squat session from last Wednesday and it's 127.5 for six. And I think I was going to do more sets than I ended up doing, but because it was the last heavy week, we kind of ended up calling it after the set. And I think what seemed like, because Grant's there to watch me, he can kind of see how tired I am, but it seems like we're kind of reducing the amount of sets that I was planning on doing that last rep was kind of slow and I don't honestly think I had another set there that day because of the migraines that I mentioned earlier it kind of messed with my eating going into those last three days of the bench the deadlift and the squat I usually have a little bit more carbs earlier in the week just to make sure I'm pretty well fueled for those sessions and to give my body a little bit of a break from the cutting. But I had no appetite and just felt like I couldn't really make myself eat. So I was definitely like, I had less juice going into those sessions and unfortunately those were the heaviest sessions for my whole prep. But also, I was like, eh, you know, if I have no appetite, it's not the worst if I continue to cut. 
This is a bench session at home, my last training session at home. And I was supposed to do 195 pounds for a set of eight, but I could kind of tell that if I try to go for the last rep, there was a good chance that I would get stuck. And rather than kind of waste my energy getting stuck, knowing I still had a few more harder sets after that, I just decided to call it at seven. But 195 for seven is still not too bad. These are deadlifts from last Friday. I do three sets of 155 kilos for five, and then I do my practice singles. And usually the singles on this day feel harder because I'm just tired from deadlifting three days before. And also with the way that we've switched deadlifts up for the last few weeks, I'm doing two more sets uh, going into the singles instead of just doing one set. These are my paused conventional deadlifts and the tripod that I was using was on its last leg so every rep is making it kind of tilt so that's special effects without trying. Unintentional. But these are actually pretty easy for me. Conventional just feels better. I think it's just an easier... It's just more natural to me, to be honest, but my bracing doesn't like it. At least my long torso doesn't like it for heavier singles. This is my last squat session and last regular training session for this prep. Last Sunday, I put on a singlet because I wanted to practice just wearing one and making sure I still fit in it. I worked up to a practice single at the cost of my head feeling a little icky, but it was still better than last week. It still moved okay, and that is it for this block of training. This past weekend, as meat tradition for me, I chopped off a ton of my hair, and I know that hair doesn't weigh that much, but it was time to get a haircut anyway. I haven't had a haircut since August, right before nationals. And then we hung out in Japantown and got to meet this little green mascot. And he is not Mona or Grogu. Mona from Nana Land, for those of you who are in the know. But, you know, taking a picture with him and seeing his poofy self really made my day. <laughs> And then we went to the beach and walked around for a while, and I got more steps in than I probably should have. <laughs> if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me through the series. I will be documenting our trip to Ohio. I am really excited for how this prep has gone, and I can't wait to lift on meat day.